What you doing, Teeps? Just looking at these sweet pictures. They gotta be photoshopped or something. No way, man. That's light painting. No, they have to be photoshopped. No, man. It's light painting. It's probably the coolest thing ever. Do you want to learn how to do it, man? Yeah. Let's go. Man, that looks pretty hard. Yeah, it's not really that hard. It's pretty simple, but it looks sweet at the end result. You keen? I am keen. All right, let's rock this. So what all do you need for light painting? You just need a few things. Really simple. So what all are you going to need? We're going to need a few things. We're going to need a semi-decent camera, a tripod, a solid background, and a carpet floor. Also, we're going to need a dark room. So why do I need a tripod? I can take a perfect picture like this. Give me the camera. This is light painting. It's a completely different concept from your everyday photography. The reason why you need the tripod is that your camera's shutter is going to be open for 15 seconds, and any sudden movement like this will just completely distort your image. What if I don't have a tripod? You can use something like a flat surface like this table. The one thing I wouldn't recommend is your favorite pet. Although it's very cute, it's just going to move around too much making a terrible image. So how do you change the shutter speed? It's easy. For a Canon camera, all you want to do is switch your camera into TV mode. Then, once you're there, you want to adjust the shutter speed by moving these arrows. As you can see, we're getting smaller and smaller. But we want ours to be as long as possible, so we're getting ours up to the 15 second. So what's the deal with the carpet? Well, see, if you have something like wood paneling, it's just going to reflect the light. What you want is something like a nice carpet, because it'll absorb all the light. You also want a plain background with nothing obstructing it. So what can you use for a light source? You can use a flashlight, your cell phone, your friend's cell phone, your friend's girlfriend's cell phone, your laptop, your iPod, but whatever you do, make sure you don't use an open flame. It's just not a safe thing to do. So now that we know what we need, let's go take a picture. All right! So we're not taking a light photo right now, but this is what it'll look like when the person's doing it. So Teeves, you just do what you did for the light photo, and all you have to do is move your cell phone around, and that's all you have to do. And if you don't want any space, any connecting words, you just shut off your cell you shut off the light or you can just block the screen with your hand and that'll make it so the words aren't connecting. So light painting, you need every single light off which I have the light on the back of the camera right now so you can see it so hopefully this image will turn out. And just one second. Okay Teeves, you can t start drawing. And we'll see what this image turns out like. As you can see, it showed high on there. I'll show you the image in one sec. Wow, that was sweet. No kidding, eh? So as long as I have a camera with a changeable shutter speed, a tripod, a good light source, a floor that won't reflect the light, a plain background, and a dark room, I'm good to go. Yeah man, it's that simple. Sweet. No problem, man. Now to do one of the reflection videos, this is what you have to do. Go, Teeps. First you turn on the light. It's really dull, but your camera will pick that up. Then you shut it off. Then you go over to the other side and make sure you're not too close to where your other picture was and then you turn the light back on and you hold yourself there for a second and then you shut it off again and that's your picture but you have to make sure you do that in the 15 seconds or else your picture is well it's just going to be you pointing at someone 